गाइस वेलकम टू मोटर वाइज माय नेम इज अमित एंड दिस इज द बीएमडब्ल्यू 7 सीरीज फेसलिफ्ट नाउ वी नो दैट दिस इज एन ओल्ड कार एंड वी वर नॉट एबल टू डू द रिव्यू अर्लियर बिकॉज़ ऑफ द लॉकडाउन बट नाउ सिंस दिस कार इज हियर इट्स स्टिल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एसेंशियली बिकॉज़ द न्यू एस क्लास हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड एंड इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू नो वेयर दिस कार स्टैंड्स बिकॉज़ दिस इज द प्राइमरी कॉम्पिटिटर ऑफ द एस क्लास एंड इट डज स्टैंड आउट इन अ लॉट ऑफ एरियाज एंड यू विल नो व्हाई सो I request you to watch this video till the very end. So let's get started with what has changed here first and in terms of the wheelbase and the length there has been a slight increment. The wheelbase has increased by about 14 mm and the overall length of the car is now uh, increased by about 23 mm. Apart from that the proportions more or less remain the same. The long bonnet is more or less the same proportion but the bonnet itself has changed and not just that the height of the bonnet is also taller to of course accommodate this big bad BMW grill which is bigger by 40% and this is one of the biggest grills you will find on any of the limos and what's the reason for BMW going so big with its grills you might want to ask and the reason is that the chinese people they love their grills to be bigger this bonnet is taller and this BMW logo also you would be surprised to know is now 15% bigger as compared to the one on the previous car a few other changes on the lower bumper now where you generally have air intakes you have these air deflectors which deflect the air towards the wheels and then channel it out from another vent so that there is lesser turbulence and inside the car you don't get much of the tire noise also you get a much better aerodynamic ability along with this active kidney grill which opens up when the engine needs some air to be fed in when it's hot and that's very very cleverly done we have seen this in a lot of other bmw cars as well and this feature is available here as well another change the headlights are now slimmer the styling has changed the drls are now very recognizably uh, bmw and this blue tint would suggest that these headlights are equipped with laser lights which have a high beam throw off up to 560 meters although it's slightly less than what you get on the 5 series or the 6 gt where it's 650m but it still is quite a lot a lot of chrome up front on the grill as well as on the lower bumper and that completes the very muscular look of this new bmw 7 series it is quite imposing with the taller bonnet it looks all the more muscular you have these horizontal slats on the lower part of the bumper and a few things that you would probably want to have in such an expensive car are present some are not you have a 360 degree camera you have front parking sensors but you don't have headlight washers and i really would have wanted to see headlight washers here also i would have wanted this car to have more active driving assistant systems which this car is not as generously equipped as some of its competitors are on the side if you go to see it looks like a stretched out car and the reason is that this is a long wheelbase version and uh, If you talk about the dimensions at 5238 mm this is the second longest car in the segment after the S class it's the widest with 2169 mm in terms of height it's again the second after the S class and in terms of wheelbase at 3210 mm it's second after the S class then you get these big beautiful 19 inch wheels shot with 245 section tires these are not the tallest profile tires so it does have some bearings on the ride quality but this car comes with air suspension so that is compensated for also for stability the car has braces inside so cross braces really add to the stiffness and the rigidity of the chassis an interesting thing to note is that you don't have access to uh, the bolts which hold the wheel in place you'll have to remove this and for that you'll need a special key to remove this hub and then you can remove the wheels the 360 degree camera side units are installed on the ORVMs and the ORVM itself is two tone with a chrome finish led blinkers and this air outlet here also is slightly more vertical with this chrome highlight also being slightly more vertical than before and it runs through the length of the car the ground clearance as you would see is probably not sufficient for a car this long but this car since it comes with air suspension can go over bad bumps also once you raise the ride height of this car using a button inside the greenhouse area is covered in chrome and on the door handles also you get a chrome lining as should be the case with all limousines the doors are soft closing and the car pulls them in even if you have not 
shut them properly. The very recognizable Hofmeister's kink is right there and this car also comes with a two-piece beautiful panoramic sunroof and a shark fin antenna and at the rear like the front the tail lamps are new and I really love how these tail lamps look. There's a connecting light which joins the two uh, side tail lights and you have generous use of chrome as well you have a horizontal chrome slat here you probably would be able to see the camera here you have chrome at the lower part of the bumper also and the twin exhausts are also surrounded by this angular chrome treatment you obviously get rear parking sensors and since this is a limo as a luxury feature you get a powered trunk as well which opens up for a 515 liters of boot space and underneath this space you will have a space saver spare a hidden tray and some space to spare on the side as well you can press this button if you want the car to be locked after the trunk is shut and you can use this button for it to shut in a powered manner now before we get in let's have a look at this BMW key you have unlock lock boot release and this customizable button but more importantly this is a comfort access key which unfortunately is not available in some of the BMW cars but this being a limo you don't really have to pull the key out of your pocket and you can directly enter the car without any problem and you also get this display key which we very recently saw in our BMW 5 series review as well and the functionality here is exactly the same and this essentially allows you to make the car remotely park into a narrow parking area so that you can get out of the car and then make it move so that you don't get stuck and this is how it works Okay, this being a limo now, we are going to enter the back seat first and uh, just look at the size of that door. It's enormous, essentially because there is a ton of leg space to cover and also to allow for easy entry and exit to the back seat where the seat behind the front passenger is the most important seat, which is also known as the boss seat and the seat height here is about ideal for a sedan or a limo and this button right here would convert this seat into a lounge and the front seat is going to move forward all the way tilt forward and then open that pad up so that I can stretch my legs and relax while my driver I don't have one though takes me to a destination that I want to be at now this is a feature which is common with most of the limousines in this segment but the 7 series also being one of the longest cars allows you for uh, one of the longest stretches for one of the most stretched out positions and even if you are more than 6 feet tall you would be able to stretch your legs and sit here very very comfortably a word of caution though if there is a driver who is driving there his view of the rear view mirror would be blocked and you need to be careful about that now this is just one aspect of the luxury that this car offers you and if you look at the buttons here apart from a two-way uh, memory function where there are as many as eight massage functions to choose from you also get very high quality leather on the top two parts of the door panel at the lower part also you get soft to touch materials this is high quality napa leather so this is not artificial or man-made or low quality leather this is a very high quality leather that you get here you get lacquered wooden finish here an ashtray good enough space to store stuff or probably uh, put a water bottle in a horizontal position but there isn't exactly a water bottle holder here and of course you get your blinds to protect you from the sun Note that the blind is motorized for the quarter glass as well and you get a blind at the rear as well. Now to bring this seat in its 
normal position you just have to press this button once and with this one touch press the front seat is going to come back uh, in its natural position and you can seat a passenger in the front seat as well however if you want to change the position or uh, the angle of the front seat you can press this button right here and then you can control the front seat using the controls for your own seat so if you wish to adjust the front seat where you don't want it to convert into a complete lounge you can just use this button and then make minor adjustments also in case you want to just open that flap you can press this button and the flap will be opened now for the individual controls you have seat height adjustment which is electrical you can change the angle of the seat back you can also change the angle of the headrest and you also have a four way lumbar adjustment so the seat itself can be controlled very very comprehensively and uh, that by itself is a great feature to have now as you can see me being 5 feet 10 inches there is sufficient amount of headroom here so even if you are 6 feet or 6 feet 1 or 2 you should be able to sit here without your head brushing with the roof apart from that as you can see the seat quality by itself is fantastic it's beautifully contoured and uh, the stitch on the seat is quilted the headrests have a soft pillow over them and you also have uh this adjustment which stops your head from bobbing around if you are catching a nap while your driver drives you to uh, a destination that you asked him to there are two individual reading lights for each passenger and you can control them by using this button so you can either switch them both off or turn on only this light you have a coat hook another coat hook here a handle vanity mirrors with illumination for both the passengers of course you get these beautiful high definition screen complete the entertainment package and these are touch enabled and if you go inside the menu you will see that you have controls for media this car comes with on board memory so you can save your own media here and play it as you want you just have to transfer it using a usb you get navigation wherein you can suggest a destination to the driver who then can accept or reject it within the car you can change a lot of things which includes the rear display interior lighting ambient lighting which includes 11 colors or designs you can control the way uh, you want your seats to be the massage functions and everything else including ventilation can be controlled using this screen here and of course the climate can also be controlled using this screen which brings me to the four zone climate control so you have two separate zones for the two passengers on each side and both the seats are ventilated as well you can turn the ventilation on and off or you can turn the heating for the seats on or off using these buttons here so a lot of uh, comfort features here plus you also get an hdmi in and two usb sockets as well as two headphone out 3.5 mm jacks if you want to be listening to your individual entertainment without disturbing other passengers you also get a cigarette lighter and two usb type c sockets purely meant for charging and not for entertainment inputs then you can very neatly hide it with this flap and on top of all of that you have a disc player as well and if you want to go the old way you, you can use your discs for your entertainment as well the ac vents are located here with flow control and you also have ac vents in the b pillar also worth noting is this light here which is an ambient uh, display unit and you can control it using uh, this tab here or using this screen here now apart from all of those controls that i just showed you you can also control a lot of functions using this little tab here and you can take it out using this eject button here it's a tab made by samsung and it's an android os uh, phone so i really believe that this branding of samsung should not have been here it should have been more customized and it should have had bmw branding on it doesn't look very good for a brand like bmw to be selling its flagship product uh, with samsung branding on the tab however 
using this tab you can control a lot of functions and these functions are more or less the same uh, as the ones that I showed you and we'll probably make a separate video uh, on how to use this tab and what all functions are available using this tab. You get a twin cup holder and you also get some space underneath the armrest where you can store your wallet, your cell phone. So there is ample amount of storage here with a very velvety, very premium finish on the inside. If you so wish, you can turn this tab off as well using this button uh, if the light is hurting your eyes while you're traveling uh, through the night. Now, while this is the boss seat, it obviously has more control, but there is no dearth of features on the other side as well. And you get all the features that you get here, apart from being able to move the front seat since uh, this is the driver's seat and you cannot tinker around with it since he might be you know, driving the car while you tinker around with it. So no controls uh, for the driver's seat. However, all the other features are available uh, on this seat as well, including two-way memory function and massage and everything else. So a very loaded uh, back seat with three individual headrests and you can actually seat a third person here. There is enough width, although you have a huge hump here. So it would be a bit of a bother for the third person who's sitting here. Though BMW has provided a proper three point seat belt as well as a proper headrest for the third person who is sitting here. In terms of entertainment, if you really want to know, this car comes equipped with the Harman Kardon system with 464 watts and 16 speakers. Sound quality is very good, although for this segment, there are some other cars which come with better systems. Uh, you can also opt for a Bowers and Wilkins system on the top of the line 760i, but that option is not available on this car. On some other cars in this segment, you get Burmester as well as Bang & Olufsen which arguably sound a little better than this class. In terms of comfort, space, luxury, seat comfort, this car is second to none. Although the new S-Class has a few more features and I also personally believe that the back seat of the S-Class overall of all the limos that we have is slightly superior. Now let's go to the front seat and see what all features do we have there. Now before we get inside, you also would be interested in knowing what this is and BMW boasts of using plastics and uh, carbon fiber in a composite manner to reduce the weight of its car without uh, compromising with structural rigidity and uh, this car uses this component uh, in a lot of areas so the BMW 7 series is, comes with 6 airbags and uh, is one of the safest cars to be driven around now, this being a luxury limo of course the driver's seat also has to be loaded with all the features that you can and it does come with all the features including a four-way lumbar support and an electric adjustment for the side bolstering which is this part and you also get the massage functions for the driver's seat however as we always say the step brotherly treatment is always given to the front passenger in a luxury limo and the front passenger seat does not have the massage function, nor does it have uh, the four-way lumbar adjustment, nor does it have the electrical adjustment for side bolstering. You can control the rear blinds using this button here. And you can obviously lock the rear windows using this button here. However, one feature that's missing is heated mirrors and on a car which is as expensive as the BMW 7 series I would expect it to come equipped with uh, heated mirrors which this car doesn't I am not very fond of this lacquered wood finish either although it looks very nice uh, but I have seen some other cars coming with an open pore finish and I personally like uh, that kind of treatment for the wood a little better now there are a lot of features here which have trickled down to lesser BMWs and had this been a brand new car uh, about five years ago, I would have really talked about it very enthusiastically. However, uh, this live cockpit is now a feature which is available even in the two series. So nothing new to talk about here. However, the steering here is electrically adjustable for both reach and rake. You have volume and track controls here along with BMW assistance where you can say, hey, BMW. Hello. What can I help you with? I'm feeling hot. I'm 
lowering the temperature and activating the seat ventilation and it will be more comfortable shortly. So all of these features including gesture control as well as features like reversing assistant and parking assistant are available on uh, this version of iDrive which is uh, OS 7, the latest version of iDrive and it is very intuitive very easy to use as we have seen with other bmws also you can control it using this controller here which also gets a touch sensitive pad which you can use for handwriting recognition you can give your inputs using this touch screen here as well as the bmw assistant uh, which comes on using this mic here can also be used so there are a lot of input uh, systems here of course as i mentioned this car comes with a 360 degree camera which is one of the best in business and it also comes with a 3D view wherein the car is projected in three dimensions and it looks really really dramatic and we have seen this in other BMW cars as well looks fantastic I think this color doesn't go very well uh, with this feature it's looking a little artificial with, but with lighter colors it looks a lot better it also comes with a car wash feature which gives you a guideline if you are going to be driving over a car wash bay now as I mentioned before this car does not come with many active driver assistance uh, features and uh, if you really want to go uh, for some advanced features like lane keep assist or uh, adaptive braking while uh, using cruise control you'll have to go for them as an option in the top of the line 760i variant and these features are not available even as an option if you're going for uh, this version of the car which is a 730ld or even the 740li uh, these features are available only for the 760i or uh, the 745e which is a hybrid variant then of course the driver has a lot of control over uh, what can be used or not used in the rear seats and you can deactivate massage in second row using controls here and of course you can control everything using this very simple and intuitive BMW iDrive controller and you also have 11 ambient lighting colors to choose from so here you have the engine start stop button you get an auto start stop system you have these touch sensitive assignable buttons which you get in other BMWs also physical buttons to change tracks to change mode or band which I really believe is very important for example on the new S class there hardly are any physical buttons and I think that can be a big distraction for the driver in case you want to make small changes like to uh, the cabin temperature or some uh, other changes like if you want to uh, choose a track or you want to change uh, uh, the radio station I really believe that all these buttons should be easily accessible so that you can focus on the road and don't fiddle around with the screens uh, while you should be focusing on the road to ensure that you're driving in a safe manner you get a two zone climate control uh, up front and two zones uh, at the rear and you get this touch sensitive screen to control most of the functions you get ventilated seats as well as heated seats and you also get perfumes to choose from Talking about the perfume canisters, they are situated in the glove box and I'll show them to you in a bit. You get wireless charging, two cup holders, an ashtray, a USB socket, a 12 volt socket with a cigarette lighter. The central panel is very very familiar with all the driving modes, auto hold and you get this cavernous central armrest which flips open in two pieces and has enough space and more for as you can see my sunglasses holder, a wallet, a cell phone. It also has a 12 volt power socket and a USB type C uh, socket here along with illumination. The glove box here doesn't have much space thanks to this box here which uh, stores uh, the canisters for the perfume inside the car. Talking of seats, uh, for the driver's seat as well as the front passenger seat, you get these adjustable headrests which uh, provide you good support and stop your head from bobbing around. So the front passenger can also sleep in peace now as you would imagine these seats are some of the most comfortable you will find anywhere they are very very beautifully finished the cushioning is just perfect there is enough support they are big enough for even the biggest of you and they also come with an electric adjustment for thigh support you have uh, this quilted stitch you have perforations and the quality of leather that has been used here is also top notch even the dashboard is completely covered in leather and a difference that you'll see in high quality ultra premium cars like the BMW 7 series is that even the lower portions of the dashboard and the central panel are covered in leather unlike uh, the less premium cars where you'll find these sections uh, covered in plastic and you will not have any touch point which is made of an inferior quality material in cars of this class. The front 
drivers and passengers visors get illumination as well as vanity mirrors as i mentioned before this car comes with a two piece panoramic sunroof but unfortunately the driver can control only the front part and these little dots that you see here they light up and uh, it almost uh, looks like you're looking at a colored sky when you look through them in the night now while this cabin is feature loaded by itself so there are a lot of features which are not available here uh, mentionably the hud and a few other features and you'll get them as an option not on this variant but if you're going with the 745 le which is the hybrid variant or if you're going with the top of the line 760 li you can opt for a lot of options and that list includes the v12 excellence package for the 760 which includes v12 badging on tailgate c pillar instrument cluster high gloss black brake calipers and 20 inch w spoke or 20 inch v spoke alloys as an option you can get hud and bowers and wilkins sound along with some more advanced driving assistance systems which bmw likes calling driving assistant and an m rear spoiler the overall sense that you get here is that of sitting in a very very high quality car which has been built to last for an age and more so no complaints whatsoever in terms of build quality however this layout and uh, this feel is rather familiar because i drove the latest generation uh, 5 series a few days back and now in terms of uh, the overall layout and the screens and the touch and feel it's quite similar to what you get in the 5 series now while we are driving the 3 liter diesel here The BMW 7 series comes with the most number of powertrain options that you can choose from in this segment and I really think that it's an advantage to start off because you get to choose a, a lot of drivetrains especially when you look at the Audi A8 L which is not available in a diesel at all so obviously you get a diesel then you get a 3 liter petrol and then you get the 3 liter petrol with a plug in hybrid option also if you want to go the full monty you have the option of going for a 6.5 liter v12 engine which produces in excess of 600 horsepower and can propel you from 0 to 100 in less than 4 seconds so all of those engine options really make uh, the customer spoiled for choice when you're going for the powertrain options on the 7 series so that definitely is an advantage but what we are driving right now and which I personally believe is the most suited application for the Indian conditions is a 3 liter diesel. I love diesels. Absolutely adore these 3 liter diesels. I really think that on premium cars these engines work the best. They give you fantastic fuel efficiency and a ton of torque to give you very good in-gear acceleration, roll on acceleration. So, uh, you don't really want to be going very fast from a standstill while you're driving. on the highway what you really want is when you put the foot down when you dab the pedal when you use the part throttle you should get a very reassuring surge of torque and that's what really happens when you're driving a 3 liter and that's exactly what happens here as well 262 horsepower of peak power at 4000 rpm and 620 newton meters of stonking torque between 2 and 2 and 1/2000 rpm enable this car to do its 0 to 100 run in very quick 6.2 seconds which is sufficiently fast for our conditions you don't really need to be going any faster than that but what is more important is that the transmission and the engine work in a manner where it feels completely effortless you'll be doing really quick speeds but it doesn't feel like that and what you also get is fantastic fuel efficiency so for this car the ARA rated fuel efficiency number is 17.66 kmpl which is unreal for such a huge car and uh, in the real world BMW cars especially the diesels really make you go numb with their fantastic fuel efficiency numbers and it actually can achieve 16 kmpl on the highway if you put it in the eco pro mode which really works beautifully on BMWs and uh, even if you're not doing that even if you're driving it in say comfort mode this car would return 9 to 10 kmpl in the city and 14 to 15 kmpl on the highway which is fantastic for a car which is this premium this big and offers so much performance another important thing is that this car comes with adaptive air suspension and which really helps not just because it really makes you feel like you're wafting over uh, highways or even bad roads really insulates you from uh, bad surfaces which is really important for a car which is a limousine and in that sense 
the suspension really really works but also from the perspective that this is a BMW so when you are in the mood it should have the capability to change its character and to offer you the kind of drive experience that BMWs are known for so you can choose from sport comfort eco pro or adaptive modes adaptive mode depending on the speed and the surface uh, and what the suspension is doing changes uh, how the car should react in terms of the steering uh, feel in terms of the alacrity of uh, the transmission in terms of the suspension as well so the adaptive mode really fine tunes the car based on how uh, the road conditions and the environment are however in addition to the comfort mode that you see here if you press it twice you would be taken to the comfort plus mode which further works to make you feel more comfortable even more comfortable than in the comfort mode so in all you have three plus four and five modes to choose from and uh, that's really saying something uh, this car is a BMW so you don't really have to think twice about driving it fast this being a car which is over 5 meters in length and over uh, 3.2 meters in wheelbase doesn't feel like such a huge car it masks its weight its length its width in a beautiful manner and when you are in the mood it really can transform itself to give you the typical BMW experience that makes these cars so special now one big bummer here is that there is no pedal shifters on this car I really don't think that such should have been a case although this is not the more premium version uh, this is the basic version that you're driving but still this is a 7 series after all and I would definitely have wanted to have pedal shifters here although you do get it on the higher variants but come on this is a car which costs 1.4 crore rupees x showroom and and for that price i do need pedal shifters it's a bmw however if you wish to shift manually you can use the drive selector and uh, shift in a tiptronic kind of fashion although it's not the same as having the pedal shifters but what i really must compliment bmw for is the beautifully insulated cabin and it really insulates you from uh, the outside beautifully well uh, although this is not the latest generation car the latest generation s class has come in and from what i understand uh, the insulation is even better there even if you look at uh, the new 5 series it's beautifully well insulated so uh, that's constant with the cars above a certain category but it really really isolates you from anything that's happening outside be it uh, wind noise uh, be it ambient noise on concrete surfaces you do hear a bit of tire noise which i think could probably have been uh, better insulated but apart from that it's uh, beautiful it's uh, par for the course and uh, in the limo class what really works in the bmw 7 series is favor is that this by far is the best car to drive if you want a limousine that can be a driver's car as well then of course the bmw 7 series is the car that you should be going with and with the diesel version you get fantastic fuel efficiency as well however if you want to go with petrol you have a 3 liter petrol as well as i mentioned and a hybrid which on electricity alone has the capability of driving for up to 58 kilometers it offers fantastic fuel efficiency the 3 liter petrol produces 335 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque while if you're going with the plug-in hybrid variant you'll get 281 hp and the same torque as the non-hybrid version that is 450 newton meters the plug-in hybrid does its 0 to 100 in a blistering quick 5.3 seconds now the engines all of them are mated to the trusty old 8-speed steptronic unit and it's more or less as good as it gets it's quick it's intelligent and uh, it responds to the throttle inputs as well as uh, a modern transmission can it's not a dual clutch unit but trust me you it's as good as most of the modern dual clutch units there is absolutely nothing to complain about here and uh, we have seen this transmission doing duty on a lot of other cars as well and i personally believe that this is one of the most advanced automatic transmission systems anywhere on any car uh, whether you're driving fast whether you are uh, on the track or whether you are uh, driving in everyday conditions it's very refined very very intelligent shifts in a very imperceptible kind of a manner and has to be one of the most efficient transmission units on any car in terms of the steering weight it's very very well weighted it does feel natural but does it feel the most natural of all the bmw cars well 
for its class it's definitely the most enjoyable steering wheel but if you compare it with uh, something like the 3 series which i absolutely adore in terms of the steering feel i think uh, it does have a wee bit of artificialness however if you compare it with the rest of the limos in the segment it definitely stands out so while there might be a couple of other cars which might work a little better at providing you more comfort uh, which might cosset you insulate you a little bit better but when it comes to the sheer driving pleasure if you want a limousine that you can drive as well then there simply is no beating the BMW 7 series which brings us to the all important point of the price and in terms of price there is absolutely nothing that comes close to this car if you are fishing for a luxury limo in this market then there is no better value than this car at this point in time also this car will give you the most number of powertrain options and this many engine and transmission options are not available on any other models so that is the big advantage also if you're looking for a limousine that can also drive like a driver's car then as i mentioned before there is no beating the BMW 7 series so those are the advantages in terms of disadvantages of course you have the new S class which has a newer generation technology powering it it has a few more features a few of them are gimmicks as well if you really ask me however that car definitely is a more modern car but the difference here in terms of pricing is about 80 lakh rupees ex showroom which is enormous since that car is a cbu you will have to pay a lot more if you are looking at the s class so in terms of pricing this car is every penny worth the money bmw is asking for it and uh, even if you look at the audi a8 the audi a8 is also about 20 lakh rupees more expensive than this car and uh, in terms of sheer value there is absolutely no beating the bmw 7 series in this market i really hope that this video was of some use to you if you like our style of long format videos do not forget to hit the like button subscribe to motroids do tell your friends about us and until next time this is amit changani signing off rev hard rev free and drive safe